Meanwhile, in the small town of Kingston Falls, Billy Peltzer was returning home from his day of work. He greeted his mother in the kitchen. What a rotten day at the bank, Mom. Well, never mind that now, Billy. Your father will be home from his trip any minute. Sure enough, before long, the front door flew open. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! Rand handed Billy the present. I want you to open it now. This can't wait until Christmas morning. Billy tore off the wrappings and lifted the lid. A tiny ball of fur peeked out of the box with large, friendly eyes. <laughs> Billy grinned with delight. What is it, Dad? The owners call it a mogwai. You can train him to do anything, and he's really clever. He figured out how to work most of my gizmos all by himself. Well, since he likes gizmos so much, let's call him Gizmo. Billy's mom watched Gizmo crawl out of the box, climb onto Billy's shoulder, and lick his cheek. <laughs> <laughs> this is so cute. I've got to get a picture. OK, smile. The bulb flashed, and Gizmo screamed in fright. Billy cuddled the trembling mogwai. Dad, what happened? The little fella's scared. He hates bright lights. See, there are certain things you have to remember about this guy, Billy. Besides bright light, keep him away from water and never feed him after midnight. Never. Billy cradled Gizmo in his arms. Come on upstairs, little fella. I'll show you my room. He took him into the attic and set him on his desktop. Whoops, let me dim the lights for you. There, is that better? Gizmo smiled and sang a single clear note. Billy turned on his portable keyboard and played the same note. Gizmo's large ears perked up, and then he sang five notes. Billy struggled with the keys. I'm not quite getting it right, Giz. Billy watched the little mogwai lean over the keyboard and play the five correct notes. <laughs> Thanks, Gizmo. He placed a big red Santa hat on the Mogwai's tiny head. There. Can you say, ho, ho, ho? <laughs> Gizmo couldn't figure why Billy was laughing. Billy saw Gizmo's puzzled look. I'm laughing because you look so cute in your hat, Gizmo. Want to see? Billy held up a mirror. The furry mugwai took one look at his reflection, screeched, and toppled over backwards. Hey, Gizmo, you okay, little guy? You fell into the waste paper basket. Don't worry, I'll fix you up. He took Gizmo into the bathroom and gently tended the mugwai's bruised head. Oh, don't frown, Gizmo. He'll be okay. Billy took Gizmo back to his room, propped him up in bed, and tucked him in. Doesn't that feel good? Here you go. Here's one of my 3D comic books to look at. Gizmo held up the red and green glasses and peered at the comics happily, while Billy began drawing at his desk. Billy unwrapped a chocolate candy. Then he checked the clock. Only 9.30. It's safe to feed you. Here, Gizmo. Billy's dog, Barney, watched the little mogwai chew happily on the candy. He wandered over to the bed, sniffed at Gizmo, and then gave him a friendly lick. Billy looked up from his work. See, I knew you guys would be friends. When he finished the drawing, Billy signed his name. He pointed out the name to Gizmo and pointed to himself. Billy, that's me, Billy. Gizmo tried to imitate him. Billy grinned. That's good, Gizmo. Billy crawled into bed. I'm really glad you like it here. Good night, Giz. Gizmo cooed and shut his eyes. The two friends fell fast asleep. That was the end of book one of Gremlins. Now remember these important rules about the Mogwai. Never put them in sunlight. Never. Get them wet. And never, never feed them after midnight. To find out what happens when you break these rules,
be sure to listen to book two, Gizmo and the Gremlins.